Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to connect Dropbox to Google Drive and transfer files easily. So imagine this, you have uploaded a file in Dropbox. Now to create a backup of this file, you plan to create the same file in Google Drive. So here you have two choices. The first choice is download the file from Dropbox and re-upload it into Google Drive. The problem with this approach is it's actually very repetitive and tiresome. So I would suggest that you bring in some automation so that whenever a new file is uploaded in Dropbox, it will automatically create a file in Google Drive. So in this video, we will be using Public Connect to integrate Dropbox and Google Drive. The best part of using Public Connect is there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. It can be done easily. Let me show you on my screen. Okay, so we will begin with a small example. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to upload a file. So let me just upload a file in Dropbox. So the name of the file or we will just go to the desktop. I'm just going to upload a small PNG file. So how about I upload this image Taj Mahal. So I have uploaded it. Okay, so it is uploading five, four, three, two, one second, one second left. Okay, so the file has been uploaded. That is uh, Taj Mahal. So this is my recently uploaded file. That is Taj Mahal PNG. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to take you to my Google Drive and I'm just going to refresh this. Okay, so as you can see, we do have the image. Okay, so this is the image Taj Mahal. Okay, so let it load. Okay, so this is the image that we wanted. So basically, this is the whole gist that once a file is uploaded in Dropbox, it will be reflected as a file also in Google Drive. So to begin the actual integration process, uh, what I'm going to do here is in a new tab, I'm just going to type pabli.com. Okay, so your obvious question is why pabli.com? Basically, we have an app called as Pabli Connect that will integrate Dropbox and Google Drive. So this is the website of pabli.com. Let me just click on sign in. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Public Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Public Connect. You can also build your own free account in just two minutes. So what I'm going to do here is, let me just uh, scroll down and here you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so before I create a new workflow, there is something I have to do. So as you can see, this is the workflow with which we have got this result. Okay, so I'm going to just uh, switch this off. All I have to do is uh, toggle this to the left. So the reason I have to switch it off is because uh, once I create a new workflow, there will be double results in Google Google Drive. Okay, so to avoid the duplication of result, I have switched it off. It is actually none of your concern. We are going to start from scratch by clicking on create workflow. So here we are going to give a name to this workflow. The name I'm going to give it as uh, Dropbox to Google Drive. Now, of course, you can give any name according to your discretion, but I'm going with Dropbox to Google Drive. So let me just click on create. Okay, so basically what we're going to do here is we are going to create a new workflow. Now, uh, for your convenience, if you want to clone this workflow, I have will make sure that the link of this uh, workflow is available in the description box. Now in the choose app, how about we make it as Dropbox because we want to send the data from Dropbox. That is why. I'm sorry, Dropbox. Okay. Now in the trigger event, how about we make it as new file? Okay, so new file is a trigger event. So your obvious question is what is a trigger event? Trigger is basically a if statement. It asks a question if the condition is met, what should be done? For example, if a new file is added in Dropbox, then what action should be taken by the system? Now, of course, we only have uh, one trigger event that is a uh, new file. Now, if you want more triggers of your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate pabli.com to custom build our trigger events, more trigger events according to your choice. But at present, I basically just want to send the data when a new file file is uploaded in Dropbox. So basically the gist is we are just trying to integrate Dropbox to Public Connect. So let me just click on connect with Dropbox. In the new credentials, let me just click on connect with Dropbox. Okay, so it's just uh, okay. Excellent. It is showing the authorization successful. Just press OK. So as you can see, we have a blank called as a folder path. So basically, we have to specify the folder from which we will be extracting the data of the file. So as you can see, let me just uh, take you to my home page, home uh, dashboard of uh, Dropbox. So these are all the folders we have. OK, so let's say I want to extract the data from this particular folder. OK, so this is the folder that we want. So the folder name is awesome. So what I'm going to do here is because I'm lazy, I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here. So now the folder name is here. Now to specify the path, all you have to do is enter a slash. Okay, so our folder path is ready. Now coming to the uh, now coming to Dropbox. Okay, so for your convenience, I'm just going to upload one more image. Okay, so let me just go to files. 
okay so let's say i am going to upload my own image okay so the name of the guy is called as name of the file is called as stud because i look like a stud okay so let me just click on okay so it is uploading this file the file has been uploaded so when i go to public connect and when i click on save and send as request it will fetch the data of the recently uploaded file in dropbox okay so i have specified the folder path and in this uh, folder we have uploaded this particular file and when i click on save and send test request it will fetch the data of this particular file stud.png so let me just show you let me just click on save and send test request okay so as you can see we do have the name okay so the name is stud.png and there is something else i have to show you so let me just uh, scroll down and basically this is the link that we want to share on google drive so that it can create a file so the name the link is a shareable link res3 shareable link i'm just going to copy this okay copy this and i'm going to open this in a new tab so the idea is that uh, you will really understand what's the okay so basically this is the image this is the same image that we have uploaded in dropbox stud.png so what we are going to do here is using this link we are going to uh, um, create a file okay create a same image file in google drive so to do that let me just uh, click on this plus button okay so when you click on this plus button another window opens up this is called as the action window so in the choose app how about we make it as google drive google drive it is okay so now in the action event how about we make it as upload a file so where is upload a file yeah this one okay so upload a file is an action event there are many more action events like create a subfolder create a shared drive delete file or folder move a file all of them are a bunch of action events now in case if you want more action events according to your choice you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate pabri.com to custom build an action event for you but at present i just want to uh, uh, upload a file in google drive so let me just click on connect with google drive in the new credentials let me just click on connect with google drive okay so as you can see we do have a series of uh, gmail accounts and in this particular gmail account let me just uh, remove this okay so this is the gmail account that we want okay so i'm just uh, clicking it here okay so this selecting this one so we have selected it so this is the gmail account in which this uh, google drive is present so we have selected it now before you click on allow before you grant access to public connect let me tell you something public connect doesn't take any chances with your data your data is 100 percent safe and secure with us so on the basis of that trust let me just press allow okay so it's showing the authorization is successful just press okay so as you can see a set of blanks has appeared in front of you the purpose of this uh, blank is very simple we are going to construct a file from the data that we have received in dropbox via public link now uh, we have the field called as the url so basically we have to map this particular url okay here so to do that let me introduce you to this button this button is called as the mapping button when we click this we will find the data from the dropbox in this accordion so let me just scroll down and this is the link we want this is the url we want and we have mapped it excellent now coming to the folder id okay so basically we want to mention a folder id so for your convenience i'm just uh, going back to my google drive okay and i'm going to create a new folder so let me just create a new folder so the name of the folder is let's say dropbox files okay just a random name and let me just uh, click on create okay so the file name is dropbox file folder name is dropbox file and uh, let me just click this and what i'm going to do here is we basically want this id so basically the these are the whole bunch of characters that we want i'm just going to copy this and i'm going to paste it here so basically this is your folder id and we have pasted it here now uh, the reason we have uh, entered the static id is because this is not this is something that won't change okay so that is why we have entered the static one okay so basically we have just copied this and pasted it here now coming to the file name we are just uh, mentioning as the same name that we had from the dropbox so the name of the file is i think stud.png okay so this is not the file name okay yeah so this is the file name that we want so we are going to keep it as the same name that is stud.png so we have entered the file name the folder id so basically in this particular folder okay that is dropbox file it will be this uh, particular url will be created as a file so let me just click on save and send test request okay so the api response is showing that the data has been sent so let's have a look so as you can see we do have this handsome guy okay so this is the same image that we had uploaded in dropbox so the presence of this image shows that we have successfully integrated dropbox and google drive with help of public connect 
So before you go away, let me just explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to minimize this action window and I'm going to minimize the trigger window. So basically this is the whole process in a nutshell. First you integrated Dropbox to Pabli Connect and then you have integrated Pabli Connect to Google Drive. So now there's a perfect flow of data between Dropbox and Google Drive. Not just these two apps, you can integrate up plenty of applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any queries, contact us at admin at the rate pabli.com. Our dedicated team members will help you to automate your workflows. Or better, just visit our website www.pabli.com. It's awesome. Thanks.